Oh shit, Deadpool 2 is back, and I'm so excited to be talking of Deadpool 2. Spoilers now, I can just vent about all the great scenes in here. And again, I said spoilers, so if you have not seen Deadpool 2, click away, save this video for later, go check out my other review where I do not spoil the film. This one, I'm going to get into all the things that I've been wanting to talk about since the film came out that I haven't been able to. So, let's get straight into it. Again, spoiler warning. Deadpool 2, yeah, holy shit that killed Vanessa in the beginning. And holy shit... Holy shit, those opening credits. Those opening credits were great. I, I mean, it, it was like making fun of like, did you seriously just cut to the credits after one of the main characters from the first film died? Like, really? It breaks your heart because I I, I, I didn't really expect that. I, I It made me a lot of sad. When it started building up, I was like, oh my god, they're going to kill her. And I'm going to be so pissed that they kill her. Obviously, towards the end, they kind of retconned a lot of the film. We'll, we'll get to that. But I, I, it, re it led to a more an emotional arc for Wade Wilson. I love that. Given Cable comes in here, he's time traveling. You can kind of assume where that's going to go down the road. But I loved what they did with the character, especially how he says, no, this is no love story. This is a family story. I love how he says you should have brought the kids when he's freaking mowing down people with a chainsaw. Again, the action here is more bloody and gory, and I love that. He's cutting heads off, cutting people in half, ripping them in half with a chainsaw. Fucking, there's one scene in the trailer that you see, but it's even more brutal in the film. When the guy goes, he puts the gun right through his hand, blows it, and then just turns it and shoots him in the head. Just some fantastic action sequences in here that I think having David Leach as the director and letting him do his thing with those action sequences really worked. And we'll talk about the story now i feel like there is really no story for this film there really is no villain either i'll even go as far to say that it, it they portray cable as the villain but cable is not the villain he's doing the right thing it, it's it's not like the thanos type of thing where he has his own ideology no he is doing the right thing there is no villain the only villain they really have is time and having to do certain amount of things before a certain thing happens and and that's really the only villain in part and that's why really the story overall doesn't work for me it feels like a lot of sequences at times which isn't a problem but they marketed this in the trailer, X-Force. And I said, I said in a prediction video, in it, that X-Force team is either going to die right falling from the plane or they are going to die in some hilarious ways on the ground. And I was right. They killed off the whole team except Domino. And wow. It was, it, that was one of the funniest scenes. Every time I think about it, I started laughing my ass off. Peter trying to save the um, the acid-throwing up guy, Pennywise, and doesn't work and just gets on him. He dies, and Domino's the lucky one. She's like, where are all you guys at? And it, it, it's just Wade's funny because he's like, oh my god, everyone's dying. And it, Shatterstar dies. Freaking The Vanisher. They don't even show the trailer. Who is The Vanisher? It's Brad fucking Pitt. What a great moment. I remember when that scene happens and he gets electrocuted. I was like, is, is that is that Brad Pitt? That No, that could not have been Brad Pitt. Oh my god, it is Brad Pitt. Great sequence in there. It was great, because I know there was rumors that he was going to be Cable. Maybe this is their way of getting him in here. Hey, you want to be in Deadpool 2 for a second? Hey, play the Vanisher. You, you don't even have to show anything. You just got to have a shocked reaction. Uh, great. And when I say shocked reaction, I do mean shocked reaction. If we're talking about cameos and style, let's talk about it. I mean, Brad Pitt's in here. The original, the X-Men First Class characters are in here. And that was great. When we'll, when Deadpool's like, you know, can't they give us some budget for the money? And right behind him, you see, I, I think it was Quicksilver, Cyclops, Xavier. And I might have been wrong. I, I think there was one other character in there. But it went so fast. But they just closed the door behind him. It was, it was so funny. It was it was like a blink and miss it type of situation. And I loved seeing that the second time around. I'll even go as far to say, I loved the end credit scene. Now, we didn't get any Logan. We didn't get Hugh Jackman. You know, they made some jokes. They did. We did get somewhat of a cameo with him. And I think this is the best end credit scene. I mean, this is the one thing that I think a lot of people want to hear about is what is the end credit scene? There's two. So it starts off, and obviously Cable does use his last thing to save Wade at the end of the film because Wade sacrificed himself for this little kid. Dude, the kid's brilliant, by the way. I, I love the kid. He was great in Hunt for the Wilder People, and he was great in here, too. And, of course, we also get Juggernaut in here, which is great. But we'll get back to that in a second. I want to talk about this end credit scene. The end credit scene is, you know, we see Wade, and Negasonic Teenage Warhead make, fixes the time machine for him. And when it went, I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's, it, it ends. And I was like, okay, maybe we're just going to. And nope, it, it starts up again. And holy shit. Goes back, saves Vanessa. Makes my heart happy. Goes back, says, Peter, just Peter. He's like, walk away, Peter. Walk away. Just just walk away. <laughs> he doesn't even save everyone else. He just saves Peter. I will say I was a little bit disappointed that Terry Crews didn't get more stuff to do. But still, it was funny that just he saves Peter. Then he goes back a step further to X-Men Origins Wolverine. And we see the ugly ass Deadpool with the mouth shut. And we see Hugh Jackman go, wait, is that you? 
boom, dead. Just, just dead. Just dies on the ground. And Deadpool walks in. He's like, oh, hey, hey, Wolvie. Great. It goes one step further. We see Ryan Reynolds reading the script for Green Lantern. And he goes, this is my big break. Boom. Dead. I loved it. I, I, I loved it. I, I, I was laughing so hard. It literally bumped my rating up for how much I loved that sequence. Zena a second time. It, it was even better. I, I, I loved that sequence. And I heard there was actually a, a sequence that they actually filmed with him killing baby Hitler that they had to get rid of because it was so gruesome. To be honest, I want to see this. I know it sounds a little fucked up, but I do want to see it because I, I hope it's a deleted scene. It, it, it has to be. It, was, it sounds so wild and gruesome, but they actually filmed it. So I, I, I want to see this. It's a little too gruesome, but I, I got to see it. Yeah, that's the end credit scene. It was, it's the best end credit scene I've ever seen in a film. Nothing will ever top it. But going back, I do want to talk about Juggernaut being in this film. I know that some people had some theories that he was going to be in here, but Colossus, this is the reason I actually appreciate Colossus more in this film. His action sequence with Juggernaut really worked. And I, I mean, even though the CGI was totally off on Juggernaut, you can totally tell it was very off-putting, especially coming off like seeing Avengers Infinity War and seeing how good Thanos look, Juggernaut does not look good at all. But the way they're fighting is great. You know, Colossus goes all brutal and stuff. And Doe Pinder at the end, it, there's this like Facilis guy who works at Essex Corporation who's holding these kids and like brutalizing them. And it's so funny because they're letting him live and Deadpool kind of references the whole Colossus thing. Brush your teeth, a hero. Takes only a couple minutes to be a hero. And Doe Pinder just comes through a taxi and it hits the Essex guy. It's it's such great stuff. Cable has great action sequences here. Domino is a huge standout with all of her lucky things and how it's all a domino effect when she's fighting people and things just fall and hit and kill. It's great. I love Deadpool 2. I loved spoiling it. These are everything I've been holding in for a couple weeks now. And now that you guys have seen it, I'm glad I got to spoil it and talk with you guys. This. So comment down below, guys. Tell me what your guys' thoughts are. What is your favorite moment of Deadpool 2 and what your like best spoiler thing was? What was the big surprise for you? I think a lot of people are going to love the end credit scene. And if for some reason you watched this and you didn't just want to be spoiled and find out what happens... Well, I hope you enjoyed the spoiler review. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Guys, I really appreciate it. I love talking with you guys about geeky culture. If you guys want to talk more geek and nerd stuff or even film-related stuff, go hit up all my social media links. We can talk over there. And the most important part is go hit up Sandwich on Films down below right there. You can check out that website and win advanced movie screens, movie news. Check out movie news over there and also movie reviews and maybe some other giveaways or special things going on there. So hit up their Twitter, hit up their YouTube channel, and also go make sure to hit up that website. So guys, until next time, you guys are all the best. Make sure to look out for more videos soon. And of course, stay classy.